the takeover with the radio goddess Moe. Moe. It's really, really awesome to have a full house in the studio today. It is. Um, I grew up listening to you and your sister. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Nyanda. Nyanda um, is part of the group Brick and Lace. Yes. And, you know, I, I, I do hear that apparently there were actually three of you, three sisters before. Am I, am I wrong? There were three of you and then it was then just only two. Or am I wrong? Yes. If we're taking it way, way, way back. back, we're going to go to the three. <laughs> Yes. See, to, to show you how much of a fan of yours oh I am. Goodness, girl. What's up, girl? It's really good to have you here. Oh my God, Thank you're so you. gorgeous. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. All right. So, Brick and Lace, as I said, I grew up listening to you guys. You guys had a fantastic album. You had like four singles on the album. Mm-hmm. And obviously, the one that is just like forever, ever, ever green is Love is Wicked. Oh, what a blessing. <laughs> uh, that's so, a, is this your first? time in Nigeria this is not the first time in Nigeria this would be maybe I would say the fifth time wow you've been yes. around mm-hmm. here a lot yeah, <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. cool 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 nice I know that you have a single with Mr. P so how did that come about the single with Mr. P well I met him years ago you know from when I was here like on one of the previous trips and um, we always said that we needed to do something together from when he was in Peace Grid and I was in Brick and Lace and that didn't end up working out mm. we kept in touch and then finally he contacted me and said he had an amazing track and he wanted you know me to feature on it so that's basically how that whole walkie walkie thing came mm. about okay yeah. nice nice absolutely love it love the video as well thank you um, now you said you, 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 you pretty much spoke about Brick and Lace and in that context you said when you were in Brick and Lace so yeah. is this safe to say the Brick and Lace there will not be some sort of reunion will you guys come back because you guys are both chasing solo careers right now right we are we're definitely pursuing solo careers right now um, I don't want to give the fans false hope and I I had hope also for it to happen but I just feel like I'm not going to say it's going to happen or look out for it mm. you know what I mean like mm. pretty much we've closed that chapter mm. and I've just accepted it it took a, it, it took a while for me I think even longer for me than my sister mm. you know you mm. know in a breakup some people move on mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I was the true. one who like took longer <laughs> yes so I think it's finally you know I, I don't think it's gonna happen but we'll see who God know, God only knows mm. alright yeah, alright all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so let's talk about my other guest in the studio hi chemist yeah big up for all right so is, 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 is this your first time here in Nigeria no, you know, um, I I also came here four or five times. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Nigeria is, is my it, second home. Is your second home? Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. So, um, I do know that DJ Bobby obviously is the reason as to why the both of you are indeed in the country for what the fifth time now. Yes. Yeah. Um. So, Bobby, um, why why Nyanda? I know that you have a single with Nyanda. Um. What? How would you describe your friendship and relationship right? now yeah I, i've been a fan of um the group break and lace from way back and <laughs> when um i noticed the separation i kept following and you know i realized that um to a large extent the work like the the quality of work they put together as break and lace did not change mm. the energy the vibe you know one of my main track then was the one you did with wizard yeah, you know, yeah, like a pro. Like a pro, I love you know that song. And before you know, I started hitting her up on um, socials. Mm-hmm. So it was social yeah. media yeah. that wow got us connected. So yeah. this is my first time touching her in flesh for real. Yeah. Okay, so how did you guys do the song together? The song that you guys have together. So so what was it? You sent her the track yeah. and yeah. she sent it back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you guys didn't actually have like a proper studio session. No, no. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. All right, and how do you know Chemist? Ah, uh, you know, being on socials too, you know, and <laughs> through um, Yanda mm-hmm. and Chess. Chess is um, Yanda's manager. Okay. And he manages um, Chemist. As well. Um, as right. well, under the label Tropical Electric. Mm. So you know, there's no way you'll be friends with Yanda without knowing this man. Okay, so okay. The connection and kind of without knowing this yeah. man too, because yeah. he's also um, my main producer. Like he's an amazing producer, and a lot of the tracks he's produced. 
Oh, yeah. okay. He's also signed to Universal Records. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very, very, very nice to meet a true star in the, in the studio, let me say. All right, so, so, so I hear that you're a producer and are you, you're also an artist as well, right? Yes, um, so, recently just signed with Universal as an artist. Okay. But for years I've been um, a producer for, for Brick and Liz. Okay. And, and many others. Just, so did you produce Love is Wicked? No, I wish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish. I wish. <laughs> All right, okay. Okay. So, so um, nonetheless, now that I now know that you're also producing an artist, what would you say you prefer? Being an artist or being a producer? Good question. Mm. Um, for me... A producer. A producer. Yes, just for the fact that, you know, being being up front on stage mm. is, is brand new to me. Real brand new. Yeah, I always say that there is actually a huge difference between a recording artist and a performing artist. Oh, yeah. And, huge you know, it, 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 it does take a while at least. Oh, or yeah. Some people are just in them, but sometimes it does take a while for yeah, you I know, to I actually know seasoned, progress. Seasoned veterans know who still struggle Mm-hmm. Being a performer, mm-hmm. having hits, mm-hmm. hits, hits. Mm-hmm. true, 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 true. All right, so, 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 so you performed at um, DJ Bobby's concert. Yeah. Definitely. How was that? How was the crowd? How was the energy? And what, what would you say about the vibe here in Nigeria? Do you think that the Nigerians are receptive when it comes to dance hall music? Oh, definitely, of course. Um, it's almost one and the same, you know. Mm. Each of them owns style and vibe, mm-hmm. but the, the core roots is there, especially the dancing. Mm. Jamaica, we love to dance. Yes. As a pin drop. We're dancing and likewise here in Nigeria. Okay. Dancing here is up to so the DJ Bobby concert was was lit. Mm. It was dope for me to see all those DJs um on one stage, me being a DJ myself. And then um after that so DJ know, producer and artist all in one. Wow. <laughs> Triple yep. <trend>. Super talented. <laughs> <laughs> so the vibe was dope, you know, and then um I came up and did my thing and I ended up come up and blaze it after that. So it was a a, a nice nice mixed eclectic show all right and what about you nyanda i agree um you know like i said i i've been performing here you know before with with the group and um i can tell you i was talking earlier you know and saying that it's just the craziest energy when we come here to africa um it's just a crazy connection i think between the jamaican vibe and the african vibe the nigerian and even here just the vibe the swag of the people it just reminds me so much of being home in jamaica um so yeah they definitely appreciate um the dancehall music the reggae vibe Mm. um i always have a good time with the fans and you know what i mean it was crazy energy really positive vibes we did red, red alert for the first time here bobby it was oh amazing. my god and i feel like it was just like really bringing that whole thing to life finally yeah, how everything was in the works for so long and it mm. finally got actually presented to the people in physical form and it, mm. was, it was crazy you know really positive vibe nice nice so you know so far that you've been in nigeria five times i'm sure you must have heard about some of our artists yeah out here who would yeah. you love love to work with well, I am really, to be honest, now I think I wanted, I wanted to switch um, my focus to doing a female type anthem. So mm. I really am looking into more of the female artists. Of course, I know Tiwa, mm. you know what I mean? And I know um, when I first heard, where is my journey? I was like, what? Yeah, me, yeah, me. Yes. I love her too, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I definitely want to look into the female Doing, doing poss- possibly a, a collab mm. with a female artist from here. That will be awesome. That will yeah. be awesome. I'm hoping that DJ Bobby's going to make that come to definitely, pass. Definitely. DJ Bobby, make I'll it make happen. It happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's my job, you know. Yeah, because I actually had a song with Burna Boy that I did on his Spaceship album oh, called Mine Tonight. Okay, okay. And I did a remix on the Davido song, Fire, yeah, Fire. fire. Mm. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. yes, we heard that. Yes, we heard that. We heard that. You know, yes. So, you know, I want to do something Chemist with the ladies remix. now. Yeah, that's a, that's a chemist remix. Oh, exactly. interesting. Exactly. Okay, okay. Now I know that. <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I have a final question for you, Nyanda. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with with the way the music has gone for you throughout your career. Yeah, would you say that you are in the spot or the place that you personally deserve to be right now? Yes, right now. 
Well, it has been a journey. This going solo has been quite a journey for me. I like I compare it to being on a roller coaster ride where you just feel so excited and, and, and it had different turns, you know what I mean? It came with different challenges. But I do feel like I am on the right path. I am where I need to be right now. And everything that I was going through emotionally, you know what I mean? I, I try to put it into my music. That's why I'm creating so much. And I feel like I am where I am where I'm supposed to be. And this is supposed to happen. And it's just, uh, it's just, it's just, I think it's an important part of what is taking form in my career as mm. stepping out as Nyanda. I definitely think that this is a, a crucial moment. Yes. yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Nyanda. Thank you, DJ Bobby. Thank you, thank thank you, you. Chemist. Thank you. Very, very glad to meet you. Thank and, you um, so yes. It's really good to have all of you here, and I wish all of you the best. Thank you, and Thanks you for coming too. On the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Thank you. Should. This is a special warning. Sound City has taken over your radio.